Hi and welcome back to my channel. Today we'll make raw lime cheesecake. This is a recipe I got from a chef who owns a local raw food restaurant here in British Columbia. Of course, the cheesecake is delicious and here is the recipe. We'll start by soaking some raw cashews in cold water. I like to soak them overnight or for at least a few hours so they soften up and are easy to blend. But if you don't have several hours, you can do a quick soak by pouring some hot water over the cashews and letting them soak for about 20 minutes. While the cashews are soaking, we'll make the crust. Start by pulsing some almonds in a food processor until they have broken down a bit. Then add some walnuts and pulse again until you have reached the crust consistency you like. The reason we are processing the almonds first is that they are much harder than walnuts and it takes them longer to break down. As you might suspect, the more you process the nuts, the finer the crust will be. Just be sure not to over process the nuts so they don't turn into nut butter. Finally, add some dates to the mixture and pulse until everything begins to stick together. The crust should hold together when you pinch it in between your fingers. If it doesn't, pulse a little bit more. When the crust is ready, grease an 8.5 inch spring loaded cake pan. Add the crust mixture to the cake pan and press firmly down with your fingers or the bottom of a glass to really pack the crust down. Then put the crust in the freezer to firm up while you make the filling. The filling is really easy to make. First, drain the soaked cashews and put them in a powerful food processor or a high-speed blender. Here I'm using a food processor because I didn't feel like taking out another appliance, but you do get a bit smoother filling with a high-speed blender. The next ingredient is coconut cream. If you're using full-fat coconut milk as opposed to coconut cream, stick the entire can of coconut milk in the fridge overnight. Chilling the canned coconut milk encourages separation of the cream and liquid. Then add some coconut oil to the food processor. If you're making this recipe in the summer, chances are your coconut oil is already liquid. If it's not, warm it up a bit before adding it to the food processor. Then add some maple syrup, vanilla extract and lime juice. I tend to use both lime and lemon juice, but you can just stick with lime or lemon if you prefer lemon cheesecake. If you like a strong lime flavor, feel free to add some lime zest into the filling as well. If the filling doesn't come together as you blend it, add a little bit more coconut milk. The cream should be smooth and quite thick. Once the cream is ready, pour it onto the chilled crust and smooth it out with a spatula. Cover the cheesecake with plastic wrap and let it set in the fridge or the freezer for 4-6 to six hours.
it should be really easy to remove the cheesecake from the spring-loaded pan. But if you do get some of the cheesecake filling stuck onto the sides of the pan, you can always smooth the filling out with a spatula before you serve it. And that's it. Beautiful raw lime cheesecake. I have been making raw desserts for the past five years and I'm always impressed by how incredible they taste. And I would say they taste better or at least the same as baked desserts. I have to say though that I haven't had real cheesecake in like 10 years. So I don't actually remember what it tastes like. So that's why we have Tana here because I'm pretty sure that he still remembers what it tastes like. Yep, people bring me food all the time and I love to eat food. I like to think that I've had cheesecake rather recently. This, in comparison, is much lighter. It's the biggest thing that I'll notice. You'll probably notice it too. Um, until you make it to the base. The base, I would say, is heavier than normal cheesecake. So it's a date base. Reminds me very much of a granola bar recipe that Petra has. So mm -hmm. it's tasty, but it's heavier than a normal cheesecake base, that graham cracker, whatever they use, um, base in a normal cheesecake. The flavor is really cool. It goes lemon, lime, and then you hit like that creamy dairy texture flavor that's savory and delicious. And it kind of goes that way on your palate in order. I personally would have put some lemon zest, lime zest, lemon zest, lime zest in spirals to make 10 <laughs> points for presentation. Well, you should have made it then. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, I have a friend who recently tasted this cheesecake and she said that it tastes 90% like real cheesecake. What would you say? Yep. That's Is that fair assessment. to say? Yeah. Um, yeah, the biggest thing you'll notice is that just how much lighter it is. It doesn't feel like you're like swallowing a piece of lead. It's just like, boom. this is more like this stuff particularly. It's just like almost like meringue, heavier than meringue, but reminds me very much of lemon meringue pie. And I prefer this over normal cheesecake because you mm. get more flavor in this filling, if you will, than you would in a normal cheesecake. There's more flavor in this stuff. In a normal cheesecake, I find that the dairy flavor overpowers everything else. I'm glad you like it. I like it. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, comment below, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time.